Hi guys, over here I have a practical example with angles. The angle is right here. We have this lady named Jackie and she's in this boat and she's gone sailing and it's a beautiful Sunday afternoon and she's lapping it up and basking in the sun. And she notices this cliff way out here, 500 meters out from where she is. So she gets a little protractor out and actually measures the angle of elevation. Now what's the angle of elevation? It's from the horizontal or the mean sea level upwards to the target of your measurement, which in this case is the top of the cliff. So she's aiming right there to right on the edge, right on the apex of that cliff. So she measured 32 degrees, 15 minutes. So the good news about trigonometry is this tool allows you to measure heights of objects, whether it be buildings, cliffs, hills, mountains, easily without having to actually physically measure it. All you need to know is how far out you are and the angle of elevation. That's all you need. Isn't that terrific? Well, let's do that now. Let's work out the height of H of this cliff. So what are the steps? Well, first of all, what we need to do is determine what ratio is it. So for example, sine, cos, or tan. Then we plunk it into the trig ratio and we put in the 500, we put in the 32 degrees 15, and we can come up with height, the height of the cliff. Now, the good news is we don't need to give it in centimeters or millimeters, they only want it in the nearest meter. So let's do that, we're gonna round it up to the nearest meter. So let's decide where that angle is going to. So I'm looking at this and Jackie's in the boat and it's a bit bumpy here and she's kind of got the protractor there and it's 32 degrees 15 she measures and she looks directly in front of her and that clearly is what? It's the opposite, yeah? And the other measurement is the 500 meters, how far out she is from the base of the cliff to the boat. And that was already measured and that happens to be to the right of the angle, yeah, of this angle of elevation and it's called ADJ, yeah, that's adjacent, which means right next to. So we've established that, that's always the first thing. Let's write that up, opposite over adjacent. Now by now you probably know what opposite over adjacent is. What is it? It's tan, that's right. It's tan theta equals opposite over adjacent and that equals, let's put in the numbers, well straight over here for the opposite we have h, let's put that in, all over and then adjacent which is the distance from the boat all the way to the base of the cliff we can see here written there 500 meters, let's put that in. Okay now what we need to do is, uh, I guess what we want to do is multiply both sides by 500, so we're left with a H by itself. So I'm going to multiply by 500, times by 500, times by 500. Why? Because we're looking for H. We want that H all by itself. So it's going to be 500 times 10. Now what's 10 again? It's 32 degrees, 15 minutes. Okay, and that's going to equal, as you can see, that's the H there. Let's bring the H there. H, which is the height of the cliff. Now, what I might like to do is work out what tan 32 degrees 15. Now, let's go through the calculator process and sequence here. Now, 32 15, how do we do the tan of that? Well, what we do is we go tan 32 degrees, but when we put the 32, we go 32 DMS, or degrees minute seconds, and then we press 15 DMS and that'll change it into degrees minutes seconds so the calculator can process it so then we end up with 500 times now 10 32 15 once you put in the calculator is going to yield 0 0.631 okay and that's going to equal of course our height which is what we're looking for height of the cliff so let's just put that in the calculator, 500 times 0.631 for the height of that cliff yields H equals, putting it in, 
four, seven. That's what the calculator says. We can round it off. Now the four is lower. So that means we can go to the final answer of H equals. And this is the height of the hill to the nearest meter. Take a minute to check out our website at http colon forward slash forward slash www.vividmaths.com. You'll find additional resources, cheat sheets, transcripts, and other maths videos that are not available on YouTube. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to get access to all the written answers for your maths questions plus other special offers.